Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Life is Strange, this time moving on to the third episode, Chaos Theory. So I'm super excited to play this, been really looking forward to this episode. The game has been absolutely amazing so far guys. If you are new to this walkthrough then don't forget to check out links in the video description to the playlist for this game, and join us on our playthrough of Life is Strange. Let's get going. Please remember guys that when playing through this game I do like to investigate a lot of things and read a lot of information so please just bear that in mind while watching. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange Whoa. Film little pieces of time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm so sick is. of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Wow, I just got goosebumps. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited, guys. falling asleep at the computer. I don't think I've ever done that, actually. What about you guys? Have you ever fell asleep at a computer desk? Or computer screen, should I say? I said that really weird then, computer's desk. <laughs> As if the computer owns the desk. Oh, look at the rabbit. Kate! It's alright, we saved Kate, guys, remember? We did well. I'm so happy I was able to save Kate. I was worried about her since episode one. I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Since when did we have a rabbit anyway? Let's feed Are you it. Hungry bunny? Here, not on this. I don't remember a rabbit being in our room. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. Ah, oh, is that because we, we watered it too many times? 
Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here to investigate. Let's have a look on the laptop for a second. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. A student at Yet. the prestigious Blackwell Academy almost jumped from the roof of a campus dormitory today with most of the students and faculty as startled witnesses. Authorities confirm that the student, Kate Marsh, 18, had been troubled, but information is scarce at this time. Dozens of cell phones recorded the event, which ended with an unidentified student talking Marsh down to safety. Click here for video footage and further details. So remember, we hmm. saved Kate. <laughs> Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. So there's more missing people now. Wow. It's escalating, guys. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Get well soon. You are in our hearts. Sending love to you, Kate. Victoria. Fuck off, Victoria. Think of you. We love you, Kate. Come back to church soon. We're all behind you, Kate. Hope you feel better. And then some kind of quote um, from the Bible. Blackwell Bigfoot's promise to win the next game for you. <laughs> oh, hang on. I didn't... Everybody will... Glad to... Hmm. I sure hope either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Let's have a look. You actually made me proud to be at Blackwell. Bravo, Max. And then something in another language. I don't even know what that says. If anybody knows what that second one says, let me know. Max Power, epic. Watching you walk down from the roof with Kate was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. Way to make the headlines, Max. You're here, Max. Thank you. Well, everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well of. shut down for the next month. Is there any new photos here? Or? No. Thanks oh, right, for the okay. image, Nathan. That was from the last and episode. everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. <laughs> I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. Right, let's have a look at photo opportunities. So, fish. Skull and cigarette, some kind of bird, another squirrel, checked shirt of some kind, another bird, ant and leaf. Wow, these pictures are more vague than normal. <laughs> we shall see how many we end up getting. Remember guys, if I miss any photo opportunities in my walkthrough, I will always uh, get the rest of them off camera. So I'm just playing this genuine. I'm not using any kind of guide. I'm just playing through with my own opinions on what choices to make. Wow, it's really dark. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be light. Oh my god, it's actually oh, life is strange is turning into a horror. <laughs> it's getting a bit creepy, guys. And even the music as well. Damn. Hello, why is this room open? Let's have a look. Why are you awake? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? 
Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Now I'm happy with those choices. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Hey Dana, I've been thinking about you all day and know how hard it was for you to see Kate almost jump from the roof today. Glad that Max swoops in like a superhero. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just want you to know that you're a good friend to Kate and I wish she had more friends like you. You have been so good for me when everything else is so fucked up and I'm here for you always. I miss you, Trev. Thank you so much for thinking of me. I keep seeing Kate on that roof and feel like I should have done more to help her. Max did more than anybody to save Kate and I don't even think they're BFF. So happy you're thinking about me. I can't wait to see you tomorrow and you are just as good for me as you think I am for you. Dreaming of you tonight. Aw, cute. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's going to wish she didn't. Dana, I hope you're doing okay after today. I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper, and I wanted to know if you could answer just a few short questions. It seems like there are too few answers. Let's talk when it's convenient for you, okay? Hope you're well. And then to Julia. Hi, Julia. I know you want to find out more about Kate, but I'm still a little shaken up after today. I don't think you'll get too many answers so soon after what happened today and maybe it's better to keep a low profile for the moment. Kate deserves some privacy for a change. I don't definitely don't think she should talk to her because, you know, Kate's had enough of her personal business being displayed to the public. I think that's it. In here. Paper ball. This is both sad and pathetic. Oh, we've seen that before on a previous, uh, on the last episode, I think. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time going through her shit. Really? Julia. Which room is, um,. I can't remember which room is whose here. That's the toilet. There we go, Victoria's room. This might have consequences though going in here, but I can't resist, I'm sorry. Is it not a light I can switch Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Let's have a nose. Oh, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. Hey, sweetie. What up? I'm just avoiding some lame-ass science homework. How can anybody do fucking homework after somebody almost jumps off a roof? I can't believe we all saw it live. It was like watching a reality show. And I've never seen the campus so quiet, like everybody's hiding or afraid. Yes, I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate and that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate. What a trip that was today, seeing Max and Kate like that. I need a drink too. Let me know the time. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. That's a Party on, dudes. <laughs> that tweemo bitch Max Cockfield <laughs> got me fucking suspended. Can you believe it? My dad owns the fucking dorm where she plays with her selfies. My parents have lost their shit and are threatening me with a fucking job in my dad's office. How dumb is he to have me repping him? There we go. What? How dumb is he to have me repping him? Yeah, that was right. Max Crackfield and Blackwell need to go fucking down and the end of the world party is fucking on you in. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? That is bullshit. No way can Blackwell suspend you. 
I knew that Max was trouble the first time I saw her ass kissing Mr. Jefferson with that retro camera. Notice that everybody she hangs around gets in trouble and yes the Vortex Club will be bringing the end of the world to Blackwell no matter what I'll SMS you later so we can plot in person hang in there hmm. interesting trash can let's search the trash can that's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater Victoria's secret she's a geek <laughs> That's kind of funny. Let's have a look in the drawer. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. I'll title this one Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Right, what are we missing then? Bag. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man. <laughs> I'm getting paranoid. So I guess there really is nothing in her room. That's a shame. I wanted to find something juicy in here. Right, time to leave. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Let's just make sure that there's nothing, because we need to take a picture of a squirrel apparently. So there might be a squirrel. Oh! It ran away? I don't know if... I don't know if that matters really. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. They have a lot oh, of like dogs in there. The most magical that? insects. Burn bright. Principal uh, Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he down. sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Well, let's hide in the dark over here. Ooh, totem. The Tabanga does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Can I go past now? Blame me for their mistakes. Cheers. I'm supposed to get past without him seeing me. We need to throw a stone or something.
Turn off the lights, maybe? Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. He won't be. Nothing here. Nothing but tools. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Ooh, girl stuff. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? I was expecting some kind of switch to turn off the lights. There isn't. Not at all. I can't see anything anyway. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. Uh, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you, you saved her ass. Maybe save Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Go on back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Exactly. How do I get past him to meet Chloe? Awesome you were today with Kate on the roof. I'll make you a superhero suit on the lab's 3D printer. Cool. You totally earned dinner on me. Oh, go on. Go out with him. He's so cute. Let's try rewinding time. Set of keys on me somewhere. Oh, we go. Ah, gotcha. Max the ninja strikes Why again. God. <laughs> she actually Get did it. scare me though. Ooh, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. 
then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of exactly. you. Exactly. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Yeah, but it has limits. Oh, yeah. I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Oh my Thank gosh. You, Prick. you are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Oh, uh, what a Did she? bitch. Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from... Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might yeah. as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back God? to your dorm now. Wait! God on him! I only... Yeah, that's right. Ha ha, your little Are plans you didn't me? work. Wow, what a loser trying to blackmail a blooming so teacher. Stupid. Yeah, it was. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. <laughs> I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. 
Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Stepshit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Okay, guys. Haha, <laughs> this is really mean, but now seems like the perfect time to stop this episode here. So let me know in the comments section what you think so far. This is getting really tense. I hope we find some information out inside the... Well, principal's office, hopefully about Rachel. It would be nice to find out some information about Kate as well, but who knows? Um, we shall see. So don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and share the video, guys. It really does help me out as a YouTuber. And as always, thank you for watching.